Why Intel and Samsung are struggling in the AI race for market leadership The AI revolution is here. From self-driving cars to intelligent assistants, artificial intelligence is transforming every industry. But in the high-stakes world of AI hardware, two tech giants, Intel and Samsung, are struggling to keep up. What happened to these once-dominant players? How did NVIDIA and TSMC seize control? And is there a way back for Intel and Samsung? Let's dive deep into the AI chip war and uncover the truth. Welcome to AI Vault, your go-to channel for exploring the frontiers of artificial intelligence. Today, we're unraveling a major shift in the tech world. Why Intel and Samsung, once at the forefront of chip manufacturing, are now struggling to hold their ground in the AI race. From missteps and in innovation to fierce competition from NVIDIA and TSMC, the battle for AI supremacy is more intense than ever. So how did these giants fall behind? And do they have any chance of reclaiming their dominance? Let's break it all down. The rise of AI and the semiconductor boom. Artificial intelligence has evolved at an unprecedented pace. Just a decade ago, AI was a niche field, mostly limited to academic research. But with the rise of deep learning and neural networks, demand for high-performance computing skyrocketed. Companies needed specialized hardware to train and deploy AI models efficiently. This gave birth to an entirely new era of semiconductor innovation. Traditional CPUs like the ones Intel dominated for decades were not designed for the parallel processing demands of AI. Enter GPUs, graphical processing units which excel at handling massive computations simultaneously. NVIDIA, originally a gaming company, saw this shift coming and pivoted aggressively into AI hardware. Their CUDA platform, launched in 2006, became the foundation for modern AI workloads, putting them years ahead of the competition. Intel's missteps, the fall from dominance. Intel was once the undisputed king of semiconductors. Their processors powered the world's computers and their manufacturing technology was years ahead of the competition. But over the last decade, Intel made critical missteps that cost them dearly in the AI race. Manufacturing delays and process node struggles. One of Intel's biggest downfalls was its failure to maintain leadership in chip manufacturing. While competitors like TSMC pushed forward with 7 nanometer and 5 nanometer process nodes, Intel struggled with its transition from 14 nanometer to 10 nanometer causing major delays. These delays meant that Intel's chips were less efficient and less powerful compared to rivals, putting them at a massive disadvantage in AI workloads, underestimating GPUs and AI-specific hardware. For years, Intel focused almost exclusively on CPUs, underestimating the rise of AI-specific accelerators. While NVIDIA was doubling down on GPUs optimized for deep learning, Intel was slow to respond. By the time Intel released its AI-focused chips like Habana Gaudi and Intel Ponte Vecchio, NVIDIA had already established itself as the industry leader. The gap was too wide. The mobile and foundry misses. Intel had another chance to stay ahead by entering the mobile market. Back in the early 2000s, Apple approached Intel to manufacture chips for the first iPhone. Intel declined. That decision allowed ARM-based processors to dominate mobile and eventually take over AI workloads as well. At the same time, Intel failed to build a competitive foundry business like TSMC, leaving them unable to serve the growing AI chip demand. Samsung's struggles, memory king, AI challenger. While Intel's struggles are well documented, Samsung has faced its own challenges in the AI race. As the world's largest memory chip maker, Samsung has been essential to AI progress. After all, AI models require vast amounts of high-speed memory. However, when it comes to AI processing power, Samsung has fallen short. Exynos and the AI chip gap Samsung's Exynos processors have been a disappointment in AI performance. Unlike Apple, which has tightly integrated its silicon with AI workloads, Samsung's approach has been inconsistent. Its AI chip efforts have lagged behind Qualcomm, NVIDIA, and even Google's Tensor chips. The foundry struggle against TSMC. Samsung does have a powerful semiconductor manufacturing arm, but it's struggling to compete with TSMC. While Samsung was the first to announce three nanometer chip production, its yields and performance have not been able to match TSMC's quality. This has led major customers like Nvidia and Qualcomm to favor TSMC over Samsung for high-end AI chips, R&D, and innovation challenges. Samsung has been investing heavily in AI research, but it's still playing catch-up. Companies like NVIDIA, Google, and OpenAI have dedicated massive resources to AI-specific hardware and software optimizations, whereas Samsung's focus has been more scattered. 
The AI Chip War, How NVIDIA and TSMC Left Intel and Samsung Behind In the first part of our deep dive, we saw how Intel and Samsung, two of the biggest semiconductor giants, fell behind in the AI race. But how exactly did NVIDIA and TSMC rise to dominate the market? And is there any hope for Intel and Samsung to stage a comeback? Let's break it all down. NVIDIA, from gaming to AI supremacy. NVIDIA's story is a masterclass in vision and execution. Once known primarily for its gaming GPUs, the company made a bold bet on AI before anyone else. It all started in 2006 when NVIDIA introduced CUDA, a revolutionary platform that allowed GPUs to be programmed for more than just graphics. This gave researchers the tools to use NVIDIA's chips for deep learning, laying the foundation for the AI explosion we see today. CUDA, the ultimate moat, while Intel and Samsung struggled to define their AI hardware strategies, NVIDIA built an entire software ecosystem around CUDA. This locked in AI developers and researchers, ensuring that NVIDIA's GPUs remained the default choice for training machine learning models. Even today, no competitor has managed to replicate CUDA's dominance. The Data Center Boom As AI models grew larger and more complex, the demand for high-performance AI chips skyrocketed. NVIDIA capitalized on this shift, transitioning from a consumer GPU company to an enterprise AI powerhouse. Their data center business, once a small fraction of their revenue, now drives the majority of their profits. The H100 and Next Gen AI Processors With the release of the H100, NVIDIA has cemented its lead in AI acceleration. These chips power everything from chat GPT to cutting-edge robotics. Meanwhile, Intel and Samsung have struggled to produce competitive alternatives. TSMC the manufacturing giant behind the AI revolution. While NVIDIA designs the world's most powerful AI chips, it doesn't manufacture them. That job belongs to TSMC, the Taiwanese semiconductor giant that has become the backbone of the AI industry. Why TSMC is unstoppable. TSMC has achieved what Intel and Samsung have not, consistent leadership in advanced chip manufacturing. With its cutting edge three nanometer and two nanometer processes, TSMC remains the go-to choice for companies designing AI chips, from NVIDIA to Apple and even AMD. Intel's foundry failure. Intel once manufactured its own chips, but its delays and failures forced companies like Apple and NVIDIA to turn to TSMC. Even today, Intel is struggling to compete in the foundry business, while TSMC continues to dominate. Samsung's battle to stay relevant. Samsung remains a giant in memory chips, but its AI chip business has been less successful. While Samsung has attempted to compete with its own foundry business, its manufacturing yields and performance still lag behind TSMC's. Can Samsung catch up? Samsung is betting on next-generation manufacturing techniques, but whether it can close the gap with TSMC remains to be seen. The company needs to win major AI chip clients if it wants to stay in the race. The AI Chip War How NVIDIA and TSMC left Intel and Samsung behind NVIDIA and TSMC have reshaped the AI industry, leaving Intel and Samsung scrambling to catch up. But is there any way back for these former giants? Or has the AI chip war already been decided? Intel's last chance. Intel knows it's in trouble. The company has made bold promises to regain chip manufacturing leadership by 2025 with its 18A process and aggressive investments in AI accelerators. But execution is everything, and any further delays could push Intel even further behind. Side-by-side -side comparison of NVIDIA's AI chips versus Intel's Gaudi 2 and upcoming Gaudi 3 accelerators. Intel's AI chips, like the Gaudi 2 and upcoming Gaudi 3, show promise. They are cheaper than NVIDIA's GPUs and offer solid performance. But without a strong software ecosystem like CUDA, convincing AI developers to switch remains a major challenge. Can Samsung recover? Samsung's best hope lies in its manufacturing innovations. Its 3 nanometer gate all around technology could give it an edge over TSMC, but execution problems and customer hesitancy mean it still has a lot to prove. The AI chip war is far from over. Nvidia and TSMC may be leading now, but the AI chip war isn't over yet. Intel is fighting to reclaim its dominance, and Samsung is betting on new manufacturing breakthroughs. The next few years will determine whether they can catch up or if NVIDIA and TSMC will extend their lead even further. One thing is clear, AI is the future, and the companies that power it will shape the next technological revolution.